it's the basketball equivalent or as close as you're going to get to walking into Wrigley or Fenway. It feels authentic. You, you have a sense, even if you don't know every specific of it, that some history happened here. That was the ultimate. I mean, I mean, man, just to be able to play at Butler Fieldhouse and get on the court, you heard so much about it. And, you know, I, I thought it was mystical. I thought it was just, just like going to heaven to get out of this court and play a basketball game. It's a cathedral. It's, it's a basketball cathedral. It is the most magical place to watch a basketball game. There's nothing quite like it. There are certain structures that house our greatest history and traditions. Those places where memories flood the mind, quicken the pulse, and moisten the eyes. Places where the past and the present brush by each other down a shadowed corridor. Places where the very soul of the game can be felt from every bleacher seat, every iron rafter, every wooden floorboard. In today's modern sports world of domed stadiums and luxury suites, only a few of these grand old structures remain. But tucked in the heartland sits a jewel, Indiana's 15,000 seat monument to the game of basketball, Hinkle Fieldhouse. Hinkle's got that special feel. There was a mystique about going into Hinkle Fieldhouse because I think all the players that have played there and all the incredible games that have been there and the numbers of people from all different eras that have attended basketball games in that facility. If you're a boxer, okay, you want a championship fight in the garden. If you're an actor, you know, you want to play the Palladium. But if you're a basketball player and you're from Indiana, there's only one place and it's Hinkle. The state of Indiana, along the nation's hotbed of basketball, stages its championship tournament. Outside the huge Butler Fieldhouse, thousands of basketball mad Hoosiers congregate. Many are there just hoping to get tickets. Year after year, Hinkle Fieldhouse became a basketball dream factory for some of the greatest names ever to play the game. McGinnis from outside, it's good. Butler Fieldhouse was the mecca for me, and I think as it was for a lot of kids who grew up here in Indiana who had the opportunity to play uh, high school basketball. When you walk into to Butler, it just reminds you of all the games that were played there before. I mean, you could actually visualize Johnny Wooden playing in Hinkle Fieldhouse. In my senior year, of course, we played in there, and that was the inauguration of that uh, field house, which was really wonderful. Going to Hinkle Fieldhouse was like going to the chosen land. There was something uh, about it, uh, symbolically, that represented uh, arriving, uh, of making it. The field house has always been the scene for great drama, whether as the site for breathtaking basketball or a critical location for an Academy Award-nominated movie like Hoosiers, a movie based on one of the most magical moments in the history of the Fieldhouse. Everybody likes to see an underdog win something. It just creates that aura of, you know what, by golly, I think I can do some things too. Not only did the Fieldhouse cultivate the dreams of many small-town teams, it also celebrated greater social victories, both on and off the court. Victories like the 1955 Indiana State Championship. Chris Pisatics, they're the first all-black sports team to win a, f a complete championship, an integrated championship in America. It just electrified the whole community both blacks and whites, you know. It was one of the biggest thrills of my life. This is the epitome right here. 
This was where all of those players, all of those coaches, through all of those years, this is where they tried to get to. It's wonderful. It was a symbol of the state and its values and its hopes. No it endures. This program is brought to you in part by National City, making banking simple for lives that aren't, in association with Butler University. Vision builds tradition.